Coming in at number five is Freeblade. Freeblade is a game in which you role play a towering mech set in the Warhammer 40k universe. If you don't know, Warhammer 40k is a tabletop strategy game that's been around for decades and with a huge history of lore. But if you're not familiar with any of that, doesn't really matter, you can still enjoy the game just the same. This is a game that's definitely for people who want to get their money's worth out of that A9X chip. It's got plenty of big explosions and 3D rendered graphics that are gonna make you feel like you really are putting that chip to the test. I will say, however, that it feels a little bit simplistic. The controls are a little bit rudimentary and all the movement is on rails. But if you're not the kind of person who's like used to really challenging shooters, then this is definitely a very enjoyable game and a very good looking game. Coming in at number four is Hearthstone. Now, trading card games have been a popular pastime for decades now, and Hearthstone is, in a lot of ways, responsible for bringing that phenomenon online. The iPad Pro is the best place to experience Hearthstone. If you get a combination of the touchscreen with the big display, you really feel like you're playing cards at a table. Now, if you're not familiar with Hearthstone, it's a pretty simple game to get the hang of, and it's got options for both casual players as well as people who want to participate in things like ranked tournaments. Horizon Zero Chase is the best racing game I've yet experienced on iOS, and the iPad Pro is the best place to experience it. I really like the art style. I think that some iOS games can try to be too photorealistic, and and this was a little bit cartoony, but, but very cool, I thought. And a lot of the racing locations look really, really good. Also, while the game wasn't super deep in terms of story or long-term strategy, the reward system made me want to keep playing and playing so that I could get things like new cars and upgrade them. My one complaint is that the location of the controls pretty much forced you to cover up the bottom two surround sound speakers, which is super annoying. Coming in at number three is Monument Valley. Now, this was an award-winning iOS game long before the iPad Pro, but I think experiencing it on the iPad Pro it really, really takes it to a new level. I mean, you might not think of this as a game that you want to experience on the big screen, but the scenes and puzzles just have so much going on with them that opening that up on the big screen is really like experiencing a whole new game. Also, the audio is really a big selling point of this game, and the surround sound speakers definitely do it justice. And finally, my number one game for the iPad Pro is Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions Evolved. This is a game that I think does everything right. First of all, it's entirely Twitch-based. There's no story to speak of, no long-term strategy that I can discern, and that is fine with me. It is a game that stays in its lane and does what it does very, very well. On top of that, Dimensions Evolved looks and feels like a game that was specifically designed for the iPad Pro. It takes advantage of that big screen. The intricate electronic music just plays super well on the surround sound speakers. I really like it when game developers design their games around the system. And all too often, I feel like iOS games try too hard to be like PC games. So guys, those are my top five games for the iPad Pro, but I wanna hear what you think in the comments below. What are some of your favorite iPad games? And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll keep you up to date with all sorts of new fun stuff. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next time.